hello my background I did stretch it out a little bit more after I poured it so I didn't want it to look like an acrylic pour I did want it to look like a background so I stretched it out made it look more streaky but now I'm going to do a bouquet of flowers. I'm going to do all the same colored roses. And I'm doing bi-colored roses. And if you look it up online, there is such a thing. Um, and there is actually blue and green bi-colored roses. And that's what I'm going with. So I have deep cyan, monostrel green, that I like to refer to as medium or light green. <laughs> and then we have medium yellow. And then I do have Amsterdam titanium white because I ran out of Montmartre white. I use a lot of white around here. Okay. So we're gonna move these out of the way. I've marked my middle with a very small X. But I'm not going to put the first flower directly in the middle. I'll put it somewhere else, but it just shows me where the middle is. And I'm going to start with a number eight, three quarter inch flat brush. I only have the long handled ones, so it won't hit you, but it might look like it. You might want to get your 3D glasses out. So I'm going to start with a wet brush and then I'm going to get a lot of the wetness out. You just want to start with a wet brush. Now I'm going to load my brush, get some of these colors going. Now in a flat brush, you want to load it pretty heavy. You want to see the paint going about three quarters of the way up to the shaft whatever this little metal piece is called. Okay. Now I'll show you my first rows and then after that we're going to speed it up for you. So I'm going to start with like an open seashell or a U. Let me get you in here a little bit. Okay. Yep, that's right where I'm going. Now the blue is going to be towards the center of the flower. So that's that. Now you're going to see me go over it a couple of times. Because I want to make sure that the colors are nice and true. I'm not happy with either of those, but that's okay, because we can go back and we can do it again. Hi, May May. stuck my finger in paint already I just started too I 
don't really know if I like this brush. It kind of leaves, it leaves quite a few brush marks, which I'm not too happy about. Just put this aside and let me, I want a bigger brush though. See, now I'm, all right, let me just see if I can, I'm going to grab my half inch real quick, and we're going to load that up. make it smoother. inch flat brush just because of the brush marks that big old brush was making. That's better. So I'm going to keep going here. Now we're going to do the center of the flower, and the center of the flower determines which way the flower faces. So if you, if you do the center of the flower this way, then it looks like the flower is coming at you this way. If you do the center of the flower this way, then it looks like the center, then the flower is facing outward. You see what I'm saying? So let's do the center of the flower. Considering it's towards the center, let's just make it a center rose. So we just make a U. We need quite a bit more green here. White in close that in or make it roll in on itself like that. And now you're going to finish the flower. that's done.
trying to make up for the fact that my brush is not a three-quarter inch brush. Now you're going to fill in all of this. So you come here, lean your brush back, and then you just pull across. Now you're going to do that again on the other side. like that. And there's your first flower. So now I'm going to do a bunch more. I have quite a few flowers here and what I want to do now before I fill in anything else is I want to put some of the rose leaves on. So what I've done is I've mixed light green to white and added a little bit of white pearl in there in hopes of getting somewhat of a little shimmer and I've taken sap green and I've added some leftover antique gold for some shimmer there. And we're going to use that to make the leaves. And I'll show you how I make a leaf, and then I'll let you watch me make the rest. So I'm starting out with a wet quarter inch flat brush. I don't like using large brushes to make my leaves. It's just a personal choice. So you take out the excess water. Take your light color and your dark color and load your brush. Now flat brushes you want to load about three quarters of the way up and you want quite a bit of paint in your brush. Let's just put one that's here I'll zoom you in I hope I can do this okay and 
we'll put you right there. Okay. Do I have paint on you? How did that get there? Okay. And I'm just going to set my brush down. Then I'm going to pull, wiggle, 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 twist, and come to a point. Now I'm going to reload. Some artists do that in one stroke where they come back down the other way. So you were like this, and like I said, some artists come down just like that, but I like to turn my brush the other way. Come right to the tip and then pull. Okay, I'm at the wrong angle. <laughs> And then pull, twist, wiggle, 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 and then come down where you want to go. So let me do that again, because that's going to take a couple of coats to get it the way you like it. Wiggle, 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 twist to a point. Reload that. Around, pull, wiggle, 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 and come down. And that's how you do that. Now you're going to see me go around and do the same leaf a few times until I see that it's nice and true the way I like it. So I'm going to let you watch as I do a few more. I'm going to try and pay attention to see where you're zoomed in. <laughs> I'm sorry if I forget.
back you out. Here it is. I wanted it to be very centered on the canvas. And I wanted it to be bicolored blue and green roses. I know that they're much greener than they should be. Oh, I forgot to mute the TV. I'm sorry. So I know that the green, the roses are greener than they should be, but um, I wanted them to be because I just, I wanted them to be more than what nature is. Uh, but let me tell you, you look up some of the images on Google, I don't know if they apply a filter or what, but they sure are brilliant in color. So I just kind of went with the idea, and I really like how it turned out. And um, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day, and I will see you soon.